Well, we're back again. We'd like to offer you a new graphic and um, see if it helps your understanding and your progress. This graphic is involved, but if you look at the pieces, I think you'll understand it pretty quickly. If you look at the time along the bottom, the, the chart along the bottom in the brown has to do with the two-hour intervals of the day. So on the far right of this, you start at the red, and the time is 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Then you'll see throughout this next colored sequence, you'll see all of the two-hour segments of the day, and then you have the curvature, which is daytime and nighttime. This is all 24 hours in a very condensed little band. They'll show you on the bottom the time of the day. Then if you trace the line that goes upward from that location, you'll say, for example, the 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. is the sunrise experience that's in red. And if you trace it up, it's going to go through the triangle that says two boy. That's the sibling. And if you follow that line upward, you'll see another red triangle. And that's going to be the grandparent that is number two. That's going to be father's father. Now, each one of these follows the same design. So, for example, the next one is the four boy hour. That's the gold. Follow that line. It goes up to the triangle, gold number four. You follow that line. It goes up to father's father's father, the great grandfather number four. Now, we're... we're suggesting that there is a way to do whatever it is you do, whether you do the postures or you're going to do the, the protocol, however approach that you want to use, the suggestion is um, make it about a person. So if you're going to do, for example, if you're going to do the um, dark green in here, which is you know where my time is right now, it's between two and four in the afternoon, that's corresponding to this time. That's the um, dark emerald green. That's the, if you follow the pattern of that up, that goes up to father's father's mother. That's called the great grandmother number three and all of the qualities around number three. But later on, we've already provided you with some descriptions of that great-grandmother. And so this will help you remember at this time of the day, 2 to 4 in the afternoon, your primary focus is going to be about the feelings of that grandmother that corresponds to the plant kingdom in nature. It corresponds to the sense of community or belonging or physical health, and a whole bunch of other wonderful things. So if I'm going to do my postures at this time, I'm going to focus on the feeling of my great-grandmother number three, and I might have a feeling of gratitude, thankfulness, whatever you feel in that moment, and I'm going to allow the feeling of that to come, but I'm also going to now do posture number two, which is about the circulation of Love from both sides of my family, the circulation of well being, the circulation of harmony and justice and health and success, many other very important key words now that corresponds to the second posture. And then the same grandmother, I, I'm going to do it in my third posture, which is down, which is demonstrated in this posture. This is the posture of posture number three. And I'm going to feel the the earth, the mineral kingdom, the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, all other living things on earth, all other people. It transcends national boundaries. It transcends race or culture or religion. This is the unity of all living things, and this is a posture that corresponds to that. Shoot. Yes, that's a lot, but that's what I'm going to be doing with grandmother number three. Later on, 
if I happen to notice that I want to do it during the time period of, say, 6 p.m. or 8 p.m., I'm going to look at the time period on the calendar that this is designed to be a guide. You can download this guide from the website. You can use your color printer or not, print it out, and to be able to see the sequences and the lines that will take you to the same place. If I'm going to do grandmother number four, which is 8 p.m. at night, that's closer to this line period here. I'll follow that line. It goes up to mother's, mother's, mother. And then there's a feeling that goes along with the capacity of the heart to receive. Non-judgment, allowing, receptivity, tenderness, and inviting. There's a whole series of words, grace of the heart, non-judgment, bunch of very important feelings that correspond to that particular time of the day. So if I'm going to do my postures or just simply do the protocol at that time period, then I can go ahead and remember it has to do with a particular great grandmother, a person, not a concept called forgiveness, but a person whose orientation to me in my own life, now corresponds to a gland, an organ, and a body system. All 12 of the grandparents and great-grandparents, they're all part of the entire system of who I am. It's also going to be eventually the ascending part of the chakra system and the descending parts of the chakra system, so there's a lot there. Part of this is an invitation for you to use the chart and to give yourself a chance to Try the protocol or cycles and seasons or the posture in a way that includes these different feelings. Just give it a shot. See how it feels different. Just try one of them. Notice the time of the day. Go through your postures or the feelings and just see if you notice a difference when you relate it to being a person rather than a concept. You might notice something. So enjoy the process. Let me know how it works for you. Um, we've got a lot more coming, so do your best to try and stay up with it because we got a long ways to go in the next nine months, and things will be enhancing, growing, moving. And you know how it is at RID. We're always reinventing ourselves for the next day and the next and the next. That, isn't that how trees grow? Well, okay, maybe not. See you soon.